what you're doing is biggest corner. And I declare that principalities are bound, powers of darkness are bound, rulers of darkness are bound, wicked spirits in the heavenly places are bound in speaker's corner. And Father, thank you for giving me all trans to preach that as I speak the word, they will hear it. Men and women will hear. They will turn from darkness and they will turn to the light. They will come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And I thank you for anointing me afresh with the power of the Holy Spirit to destroy the works of darkness and to manifest the kingdom of God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. If you are here in Speaker's Corner, under the sound of my voice, I want you to know that you are not here by accident, but you are here by divine purpose. Question is, what is purpose? What is life for? The scripture declares that God so loved the world, God so loved you, that he sent his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross for mankind. And I come in today's terms, all you have to look is what is going on in our world right now. Everybody knows that Russia has invaded Ukraine. And everybody is sitting back and watching. But for Russia, Russia to invade Ukraine is a sign of the times we are living in. Jesus Christ said, before the end time, there shall be wars and there shall be rumors of wars. Well, a few months ago, there were rumors of Russia invading Ukraine. Today, Russia has invaded Ukraine and there's a battle going on in Ukraine. But you know what? There are battles going on all over the place. But the greatest battle, most people are ignoring it. In your own life, there is a battle going on for your soul. Your soul that is so precious, there is a battle going on for your soul. And the question is, what will happen about the battle of your soul? The scripture says, what shall it profit? A human being, if he should gain the whole world and lose his soul. Today, many people have lost their souls. But that is why Jesus Christ came into this world. Jesus came to save the soul of mankind. Are you saved? You know, there was a Jewish rabbi named Nicodemus, who went to Jesus Christ in the night. He didn't want to be seen. He said to Jesus, Rabbi Jesus, we know you are a man who has come from God because no one can do the things you are doing except God be with him. Question is, what was Jesus Christ doing? Jesus Christ was working miracles, signs, and wonders. Jesus healed the sick. Jesus raised the dead. Jesus cast down devils. And today, there are many devils, especially in Speaker's Corner. Speaker's Corner is full of devils. People talking rubbish just spouting their opinions. That is okay. But the question is, are you facing the real issues of life? This is what I call real. Death. Death is real. Why? Because I will die. You will die. Question is, what happens when we die? The scripture says, it is appointed unto every human being once to die. And after death, there shall be a judgment. Beloved, I weep for you. I'm asking, 
on the judgment day, what account will you give for your soul? This is where the love of God comes in. The scripture says, for God so loved. For God so loved. For God so loved you and I that he sent his son Jesus Christ to go to the cross of Calvary to suffer for your sins and to suffer for my sins. Jesus Christ died for you. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter your religion. Jesus Christ still died for your sins. The scripture says, when you acknowledge Jesus Christ, you receive the life of God. That is what humanity needs. Humanity needs the love of God. Humanity needs the life of God. For example, why do people die and go to hell? People go to hell because they don't have the life of God. The life you have right now will come to an end. But the life of God will never come to an end. When you receive the life of God, you receive eternal life. That means you may die physically, but you will keep on living forever and ever and ever in the kingdom of God. Friend, Jesus Christ is the only way. Jesus Christ is the only truth. Jesus Christ is the only life. Without Jesus Christ, there is no life. I urge you today, my message to you is, you need Jesus. Everybody needs Jesus. Why? Because without Jesus Christ, you will die and go to hell. And the fault will be your fault. Nobody's fault but your fault. The scripture says, Jesus Christ is standing at the door of your heart. He's knocking. Jesus says, will you let me in? Can I come in? Can I save you? Can I love you? Can I set you free? Why? Because Jesus Christ is the only way. None other. There is no other name under heaven given amongst men whereby we can be saved except the name of Jesus. Some of you may be feeling oppressed. I urge you, if you are fighting against the darkness, call on the name of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ, by virtue of his death and resurrection, has been given a name above every name. Jesus Christ, name above every name. And at the name of Jesus, you shall be saved. I urge you today, turn from darkness. I urge you today, repent from your sin. I urge you today, receive the love of God. I urge you today, receive the life of God. I urge you today, receive the power of God. Jesus is calling you. Give your life to Jesus. You will never be the same again. You will experience what we call being born again. Once you're born again, your sins will roll away. You begin a new life, a brand new life with Jesus Christ. And you know what? If you should die, Whenever, because you gave your life to Jesus, you will be part 
of the kingdom of God. Listen, all of us are creatures of God. All of us were made by God. But not all of us are in the family of God. And so you may be born as a human being, but in order to join the family of God, you must be born again. Only by being born again can you join the family of God. And I urge you, join the family of God. Give your life to Jesus Christ. At this hour, I want to pray. And I will pray a prayer of our speaker's corner. I will use the name above every name. Jesus Christ. And in this prayer, I will come against the darkness. I will bind demons and I will cast them out. You may not see it, but I'm telling you, God's power shall move in speaker's corner. And so I raise my voice. I speak against demonic forces. I come against devils of oppression. I come against devils of confusion. I come against religious devils. Devils that profess religion but have no power. I speak the power of God in speaker's corner. I come against the yokes of bondage, affliction. I come against suicidal spirits. If you are here, Contemplating suicide, I break that power on your mind. I break that power on your soul. If you're watching me on YouTube, wherever, if you're oppressed, I speak the power of God to set you free. Jesus is the power of God. When you call his name, he will set you free. I don't care whether you are sick, you're afflicted, you're oppressed, the power of Jesus Christ will set you free. And so, once again, I speak to the darkness. The darkness in speaker's corner that wants to hinder people from knowing the truth. I come against that darkness and I rebuke it. I rebuke the darkness and I pray for the preachers in speaker's corner who speak the truth, may their voices be heard. Those listening, may their hearts open to know Jesus Christ as the King of our kings and the Lord of our lords. Amen. I pray their hearts be open to receive the light of the gospel. And may they be delivered from negativity. May they be delivered from the ways of hell. Satan, you are rebuked Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Demons, you are rebuked in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft, you are rebuked in the name of Jesus. Darkness, you are rebuked in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I speak the angels of God who are here, who are ministering. Minister the power of God. Anointing, break the yoke. May yokes be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. May yokes be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. In speaker's corner, may yokes be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. In speaker's corner, may yokes be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. May the light of God shine in speaker's corner. May Jesus Christ be made famous in speaker's corner. He alone is the king of all kings. Jesus is the Lord of our laws. With Jesus, you have life. With Jesus, you have power. With Jesus, you have peace. With Jesus, you have joy. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free by the blood of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free 
by the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over speaker's corner. Blood of Jesus, fight against the darkness in speaker's corner. Blood of Jesus, fight against the confusion in speaker's corner. Blood of Jesus, fight against the lies in speaker's corner. Blood of Jesus, empower the truth. Blood of Jesus, empower the truth in speaker's corner. The UK shall be saved. Amen. England shall be saved. Scotland shall be saved. Amen. Ireland shall be saved. Wales shall be saved. Amen. London shall be saved by the power of the living God. Receive him. He's here. Jesus is here right now. Jesus is walking in speaker's corner. He says to anyone, do you want me? I love you. Do you want me? I love you. And all you do is, you say, Jesus, I open my heart. Come into my heart, Jesus. Come and live with me. Jesus, come and make me whole. Jesus, come and give me new life. Because that is why Jesus came. Jesus came that we may have life, the life of God, and have it more abundantly. He is Lord. He is Lord. He has risen from the dead. Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus, Jesus Christ is Lord. He is Lord. Jesus Christ is Lord. He has risen from the dead. Jesus Christ is Lord. Every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus, Jesus Christ is Lord. Jesus, the only way. Jesus, the only truth. Jesus, the only life. No one else like him. Jesus, the only way. Jesus, the only truth. Jesus, there's no one else like him. He's the savior of the world. He came to die for you. He's the savior of the world. He shed his blood for you. He's the savior of the world. He's calling you right now. Jesus, he's calling you right now. Open up your heart. Receive Jesus Christ. Give your life to him. He will set you free. Open up your heart. Receive Jesus Christ. Receive Jesus Christ. He will set you free. Amen. Jesus is the only way. Jesus is the only truth. Jesus is the only life. Jesus, he died for your sins. He loves you. He cares for you. He's calling you. Come to Jesus Christ. Give your life to him. He will set you free. Jesus Christ, he's the only name, there's no other name given amongst men, whereby we can be saved, only Jesus, he's the only name, he will save your soul from sin, open up your heart, receive him, give your life to him, he will set you free, Jesus Christ, he's the only way, he's the only truth, he's the only life. May God bless you. God bless you. And I pray that you will come to understand this man, Jesus Christ. This wonderful name. This King of all kings. This Lord of all lords. The whole purpose of your life is to know Jesus. And I'm telling you, when you found Jesus, you found everything you need. Because he will be your shepherd. You won't want. He will make you to lie down in green pastures. He will lead you beside the still waters. Jesus Christ will restore your soul. He will lead you in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil when Jesus is with you. His word and his spirit will comfort you. Now Jesus will set a table before you in the presence of your enemies. 
You will anoint your head with oil. The cup of your life will overflow. And goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. Surely, I like that. Definitely, surely, not maybe, surely, goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And you will not only dwell in the house of the Lord, but you will be the house of the Lord. God will come to live in you, yes. and you with him, and together, there will be no end. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you too. I saw you in Canada, walking through the snow.